Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Edwin Crockett. And I'm Jonah Riddle. Today is Monday, February 5th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. There will be a meeting of Triumph Music Honor Society on Wednesday morning at 7.15 in the auditorium. On Saturday, the Mountaineer Robotics team traveled to the West Shore in the Zone competition. Competing in a field of 28 robots, the Mounts had some early struggles but got stronger as the day went on. At one point, winning seven matches in a row, they moved all the way up to the leaderboard until they found themselves in the championship round where they fell in a hard-fought battle. The second place finish qualified the team for the Pennsylvania State Championships that will be held on March 3rd. Congratulations to all the members on a great team effort. All lost and found items on the table located in the high school lobby will be donated on February 16th, 2018. Please stop by the table and claim any items before they are gone. Attention all students taking AP classes. AP exam signups begin today. Pick up an exam order form at and AP bulletin in your AP class or stop down to the counseling office to pick one up. Order forms and exam deposits are due to the counseling office by Friday, March 16th. Attention juniors, Millersville University will be hosting a college fair on Thursday, March 15th. This fair attracts approximately 150 different colleges, universities, and trade school representatives. This is a great opportunity for 11th graders to interact with and learn about different colleges. The itinerary includes attending the college fair, having lunch in the Millersville Dining Hall, and taking a campus tour. If you are interested in attending, please print out a field trip permission packet from Schoology. Space is limited, so don't delay. Now over to Seth with the news. You know, the dishonest media, they'll say, Grr, Mondays. <coughs> Today in the news, a freight train and a passenger train collided in South Carolina over the weekend, leaving nearly 70 people injured and two people dead. The crash occurred after the passenger train, an Amtrak, took the wrong track and met the freight train on the bridge. Of the 70 passengers injured, two were, two were reportedly in serious conditions and one in critical condition. The crash derailed several cars of both the passenger and the freight train. Today in 1994, white supremacist Byron de la Backwith was finally convicted of the murder of Medgar Evers, the NAACP's first secretary, over 30 years after he committed the crime. The first time the case went to trial, two all-white and all-male juries deadlocked and refused to convict Beckwith. Then, a second trial resulted in a hanged jury. Evers' wife, Myra Lee, was also, was, who was also the first woman to chair the NAACP, never gave up, and when new evidence was brought to light, Beckwith was convicted with murder by a more racially diverse jury. Cases like these are very important to reflect on, especially during Black History Month. Also, uh, Eagles. <coughs> now over to Ethan and Stefano with the lunch. For lunch today, we have the Mountaineer Cheeseburger, pulled pork barbecue with a whole grain roll, a cheese lasagna with rolls and meatballs and garlic breadstick, buffalo chicken wrap, chef salad, french fries, fresh baby carrots, Chilled pears, fresh fruit, or slushy. Slushy. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Ride with the mob, hum do Allah. Check in with me and do your job. Erg is the name, Ben Baller did the chain. Torn off for the watch, Prezi plain Jane. <gasps> Yamagini chain, rest in peace. Turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain. You see him big, homie, get a fumble. He get a they didn't seem real. In sports resorts, the boys basketball won a tight one at, against LS at home, 47 to 46. I'm very sad I missed that. I had to work and I missed the best game of the year. The girls lost to LS 39 to 30 and Sawyer Bull and Joshua Potts, not Joel Potts, finished first in the Rifle Paris Pairs tournament, my apologies. The B division with a combined score of 391 on Saturday, February 3rd. The B division is for all shooters who have never participated in an official match prior to this year. Both are freshmen. 
And you know what else? The Eagles won the Super Bowl. I'm very happy that it finally happened. Nick Foles was the MVP, threw for 373 yards and three touchdowns, and that picture of Brady is hilarious because he lost. They stink. Rob Gronkowski might retire. That came out as a report last night. I have no other words. Back to the desk. Why are you still showing me? <laughs> Starting tomorrow, tickets for the Sadie's Valentine's Dance go on sale. Ask your Valentine now. No worries if you don't have a Valentine. Groups of friends can go and dance the night away. If you don't like to dance, there will be other activities for everyone in the hallways around the gym. Ticket sales will be in the cafeteria February 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th during all lunches. All profits go to our Minithon Club and benefits for Diamonds, the organization which funds re research for childhood cancer. Minithon registrations are now available. Minithon, a fun event for students, will be held March 3rd in the middle school gymnasiums. Games, food, DJ, raffle items. Check the Schoology message that was sent out Friday to all students. Questions? Message Mr. Martin or Mrs. Sosi. The junior class officers are still looking for a few good people, not bad people, mind you, interested in planning prom. Come to our meeting on Wednesday at 2.40 and see how you can make this the best prom ever. <laughs> That's it for us today, Efforta. Have a Philly Dilly day. Philly Dilly! Hey! Stop it! I paid my dues Time after time I've done my sentence But committed no crime And bad mistakes